Hey everyone, I'm Scott Cunningham, aka Scott C Business, and today we're going to be talking about my blockchain social media metrics and earnings report for the month of December. And just before we get into that, uh, it was just my birthday, so it'd be great if you could check out my uh, comprehensive review of all the blockchain social media platforms out there. That would be an awesome birthday present to me. Um, and my mom made this amazing card, so I figured I would show it off. Really, really, really great. All right. Uh, December was a really great month, actually. Um, I managed to make basically double of what I made in November. So I'm really happy to share this with you. Let's just uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, in terms of uh, social media metrics, this was, you know, just a regular month, um, just consistent growth as always. Uh, I'm over 300,000 engagements. So that's really awesome. 235,000 video views, 45,000 comments, um, well over 100,000 followers now. So again, thank you so much for all of your support and following me on uh, a plethora of different channels, which I will continue to hopefully keep up with as best as I possibly can, because there's a lot. Um, but as you probably saw with my review recently, I'm trying to zero in and focus more on the best of the best. And that's also what I report on, uh, with these earnings reports, which we're going through now. Uh, and then my impressions are just clocking along as they normally are in terms of the actual platforms we're looking at here. Uh, YouTube is doing good. It's, you know, increasing at a good rate. Twitter is up. Uh, doing pretty well. Um, Steam, it is continuing to be pretty dismal. Not a lot going on uh, ever since Justin Sun ruined it, obviously. Mines has been kind of winding down still. Um, Read.cash is continuing to have really, really great performance. And they've got Noise.cash now where they're doing more of their uh, shorter status-esque posts. LinkedIn is still pretty quiet for me. Um, just continuing to kind of wind down. Publish OX is continuing to do really, really well. So really glad with what I've been seeing there. It's been extremely consistent. Um, I mean, some other platforms are growing better, like library or read.cash, but Publish OX has been the most consistent platform, I would say, uh, since its inception. It's just very, very consistent growth, very consistent monetization. Um, and if you don't like the volatility of everything going on, then Publish OX is probably your best bet. BitChute, not a whole lot going on there. Um, the same with Uptrend and Float, but you know, Float is going to have a bunch of upgrades coming soon. I will say though, on Float, I have been noticing more engagement lately. So that is good to see. Um, but yeah, Uptrend and BitChute have been kind of winding down, less engagement, uh, less stuff going on there. Um, library obviously continues to be by far my best performing, um, channel. I'm actually now at 29,000 when I'm actually doing this review, uh, two weeks into January and, um, yeah, it's performing very, very well. Um, still one of the top 30 accounts and yeah, I'm just going to keep, you know, pushing along, doing what I'm doing with library. I'm going to get to 30,000 followers probably by next month. So that's going to be a really cool milestone to hit. And um, yeah, again, I, I, I keep saying it, but thank you so much for all of your support. Uh, I never expected to have, you know, 30,000 followers on any one platform, uh, let alone a blockchain platform. So again, much appreciated for everyone who's following along and uh, all of your support is greatly appreciated. One thing that's really important to always keep in mind is you don't actually have to donate to me or tip me or do any of that stuff. Just consuming my content on a lot of these platforms, at least the good ones that I recommend, like read.cash, publish OX, Hive, library, uh, consuming my content on these platforms helps give me funds and money. Uh, and then, you know, it, it helps me be able to focus more time on doing this because if I can get to the point where I'm earning enough to pay for all my budget and my expenses and everything, which I was able to with this month or rather with December, but that has to be consistent at least for a year for me to ever considering just based on this to uh, quit my day job and just do this. But if Bitcoin, you know, goes to 300,000 or something this year, then uh, I'll probably retire anyways and just do this for you guys, uh, hopefully daily, if not 
twice a day. Um, so, you know, all the support, everything, even just consuming my content, it all adds up uh, and, it, and it definitely makes an impact because it's getting me closer to that point where I can just make content uh, full time and I can get you guys way, way more stuff, maybe introduce like live streams a couple times a week, lots and lots of stuff I'll be able to do if 100% of my time is dedicated to this. So the more you guys watch, the more you share, subscribe, like, uh, all that stuff, it all brings us closer to that point where I could be doing way more to benefit you guys doing guides, tutorials, education, sharing these reviews, all that stuff. Um, and doing more interviews and things like that as well. Uh, if I have more time dedicated to this. So that is all the metrics for social media. Um, everything else is pretty boilerplate as you guys already have seen before. Um, did a few more interviews, had a few more sponsorships, um, you know, just some basic stuff, but still worth mentioning. Um, so that was a decent month, but in terms of, uh, earnings, uh, this was an amazing month, like way better than previous months, probably one of the better months out of uh, all the months that I've earned. So we're going to take a look at that and break this down. So Publish OX continues to perform very consistently, $45. Um, again, this isn't the highest earner, but it is the most consistent and reliable that I found. Brave um, is, you know, pretty small, pretty dismal, but this is basically free money. So I always include it because it's like anyone can easily use Brave. So why not? Library now going way up in value uh, clearly made a huge impact. About $600 worth of earnings for my 7,000. This was previously at like 14 cents. So if we see anything like that, uh, going forward, then, you know, I could be making upwards of a thousand dollars a month just from the library. So that is amazing. Um, and again, we could see that fairly soon because we've already seen that. So, you know, hopefully that happens again. Um, Hive has really picked up for me lately. I've been making a lot more Hive. So $61 worth, which is fantastic. Um, that combined with Leo Finance is, is really, really good because these two work hand in hand. So this is more like, you know, 180 uh, in total because I got $119 uh, US from 361 Leo, which is worth like ridiculously more than Hive, which is crazy, but awesome. Because again, this is why I keep telling you guys, you know, use Hive in conjunction with something like Leo Finance. Uh, you could use other communities, but Leo Finance is definitely the best that I've seen. And I'm earning more from Leo Finance than I am from Hive, which is pretty wild. Um, Redot Cash continues to perform really well because the value of Bitcoin Cash went up so drastically. I'm earning significantly more than I was before. I believe this previously was like under 300 and now it's over 480. So just wildly more valuable. So that is fantastic to see. And I'm, I'm sure all the Bitcoin cash holders are thrilled about this as well. So that's really, really great. So me, I earned about $309. The problem though, and this is why I'm always hesitant as to whether or not I should even include so me. The problem is that so me is now turned off their swaps again, withdrawals do not work. Uh, I haven't had a swap go through over the past five or six days. So it's been off for at least a week or so, I would say, if not longer. And yeah, it's it's so hard to tell when Somi is going to do this because, again, they didn't say anything. They didn't say that this was a maintenance or anything like they used to. They just turned it off because honestly, I think people are just becoming much more aware of, you know, Somi being sketchy and they're trying to withdraw and they're tanking the price and then they're turning off withdrawals so you can't tank the price in hopes that the price goes up and it has gone up a little bit but I can't get any value out of that because I can't withdraw my funds and um again I was hesitant to even include this and if again next month for the whole month of January if all of January they still have swaps off by February I'm not going to include it in the next one because this is misleading and that's kind of what Somi tries to do. They mislead people to make them think that you're going to earn tons of money when really you can't even get your funds out if you pay $99 US to verify your account to even do so. 
And I, I'm in a group with a bunch of verified users who are all very concerned because they can't get their funds out. And that's one of the most concerning things for any social media platform that should set off alarm bells in your head. Uh, massive red flag with Somi. And again, I will not include it if they do not fix it by the end of the month because they keep turning off swaps and, and the, which is the ability to withdraw your funds. Um, and they're always working on something new. There always is a reason, but it's been happening on and off for the past three months, which is just insane. DTube, um, I'm not making a whole lot, honestly, off of just regular DTube. So I guess I pumped it up a little more or hyped it up a little more than it really is because, you know, I'm only getting like, you know, nine, ten dollars, um, off of my earnings, but every month they give me an airdrop of 918 DTC, which again, if you're using DTube, I don't know if the airdrop is coming from just using it or having been on steam in the past or whatever, definitely go and check out DTube in case you've got a bunch of airdrops coming your way, or you're only allowed to get them once a month and you're missing out on huge airdrops because this airdrop was worth almost $250. Um, definitely worth your time to go and check out and make sure that you're able to get that because that is amazing. Um, and again, while it's not super crazy with the regular earnings, um, if these airdrops keep going every month, then you know I'm not complaining at all. Um, DTube is fairly new, so you know I don't, I'm not too concerned with this $9, but uh, if things keep going well and it gets more adoption, then you know this is probably gonna go up as well. Uh, and it's also benefiting off of the Steam ecosystem and you can also post it on Hive as well. I'm just posting to Steam and then doing three speak with Hive to kind of you know try everything out and give everything its fair chance. But that's just what I'm doing. You can obviously do whatever you want. And then, so that's it for crypto. And then my last little bit to include is just $34.96 from YouTube, which is good because um, I'm going to hit $100 at the end of this month for YouTube, and I'm finally going to get my first YouTube payout of $100, which is fantastic. I do obviously prefer all these other platforms. I mean, I earn more on other platforms, um, and there usually isn't minimum payouts to, you know, restrictions to hit. So... Obviously, everything else is way better, but getting anything from YouTube is really cool. And my average, you know, monetization earnings every day is going up. So, you know, I'm definitely making progress. And if you guys can help me earn more money on YouTube because you prefer to use YouTube over these other things, then, you know, hey, I'm open to getting money. It's better that I get it, honestly, than YouTube run the ads regardless. And then YouTube just takes some of the money uh, and I don't even get anything for making the content. So this is definitely better, but I would prefer that people use alternative platforms. And you could probably help me earn more money by watching my content on something like library anyways. Um, and there's no ads currently. So, you know, to each their own. Uh, but what's amazing is that this ended up netting me uh, $1,621 US, which is just under $2,060 Canadian. So over $2,000 uh, from December, that more than pays, that covers my expenses. So being able to cover my expenses is one of the main goals of what I'm trying to do here. So if I can keep doing this, um, again, I'm getting closer to the point where I could just retire and just do this full time. So thank you everyone for helping make that possible. This is just a visualization of what I just showed you um, and just breaking it up into a chart here. And uh, yeah, this just kind of shows you the values from everything. Uh, this might look a lot different if Somi was excluded, but you know, regardless, this is a good uh, visualization for you guys to just kind of see how that would look like when you just take a, a broader look at everything. And then last but not least, just looking at the monthly totals. So this was actually the highest earning month that I've ever had. So that is fantastic. That's 46% higher than I had last month, which is amazing. Um, again, super enthusiastic about this. This is the highest earning month that I've ever had. 
um, and you can see the progression, how I'm on average generally earning more and more each month, more or less, at least, you know, there's an upward trend there. So I'm very excited about how this has been playing out. And again, we're getting very close to the point where I could just live off of this entirely. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this keeps going. And there's a lot of benefit to using these platforms. You can earn a lot of money and you know, you got censorship resistance. They're focused on privacy. A lot of them are very transparent, open source. So many great things um, to mention. And I love using these platforms. It's really amazing that I'm able to live this life where you can realize being able to be a digital nomad, where if I could keep earning $2,000 a month, I could kind of live almost anywhere uh, and just kind of be on the road doing what I need to do. That's not really my goal right now because I prefer just, you know, making these videos, doing my research every day. I'm not used to being on the road, very active. I mean, um, I don't have a car, obviously, to save money and just invest. But it's great to see that this is possible and to show you guys that if you were going to try and do something like this, it could be possible for you to do it as well. I know there's many crypto accounts who are exactly about traveling, uh, like Trav uh, Travels or Trav Crypto, whichever one you're following. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. Let me know what you guys are doing. What do you think? Uh, where are you earning the most? What's your favorite social platforms? And, uh, and how are, you know, how are you earning on them? How are they tracking along? How's your social media results? I share these every, uh, every month or so in order to give you guys insight into how I'm earning what I'm doing. And I guess I probably should have said this at the beginning, but disclaimer, um, this isn't, this potentially may or may not be simulated, you know, da, 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 da. I have to include these now for the tax man. Uh, in case they ever go snooping through all my old videos and find all this uh, accurate crypto data. Um, so, you know, I just have to quickly disclaim that this may or may not be simulated or real, but, you know, you can find a lot of this yourself if you really look, you know, to each their own. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And uh, until next time, cheers. Thank you.